So here it is, folks, the Rowenta Tonixo. I think this is a 90s vacuum cleaner. This is one from that huge palette of assorted vacuums I bought. At the time you see this video, I think I'll have got rid of most of the surplus models from that palette that uh, I didn't want or there was duplicates. I got, um, for example, I think there were three of these Tonixos. And during the course of the advent videos, you'll see a few more from the palette being demonstrated before I sell them. But as I said, by the time you see this in December, they probably will have gone to new homes. This one is definitely gone to a new home because tomorrow it will be packed up and uh, sent to its new owner because I listed this on eBay. But uh, I'm going to give it a demo first and then give it a good clean up, of course, afterwards so it's still as new. So I'll have a quick look at this machine and then we'll put some dirt down and see how effective this 1400 watt French made vacuum is. So here it is. It's finished in a rather fetching blue metallic. And I'm just going to check if this metallic finish is actually embedded. I think it is with this model. Yes. It carries through on the inside. It's not just um, a spray finish like many vacuums today. And I believe it was Hoover that were first with this metallic fleck. I think it was a Turbo Power 3 that uh, they introduced that first had this rather fetching little fleck. And it's actually little silver particles, sort of glitter particles, but they're actually embedded right through the plastic. So it's added during the molding process when these uh, machines are manufactured. So I've got the lid open. There's no inbuilt tool storage on this model. And it takes quite small bags and they are single layered paper ones. And not much filtration. It's showing a little bit of use there. We've got a little sponge filter at the front and a fabric filter at the back. So that's the pre-motor filter that just slots in there. And then of course, oh look, there's a date wheel. I don't think I noticed that actually when I first unboxed this. Let's have a look if I can see it from here. Um, 97 it looks like. It's very hard to see in this light. Looks like it's 97, looks like it's March 97 that this particular part was made. I knew it was from the 90s. Uh, it's gonna be impossible for me to see that. So anyway, the bag goes in that way, that's it. Just clips on there. We've got the parking bracket at the back. And I think there might be one, yes, there's one here for storage. And let's just check, yes, it's a 1200 watt IEC or 1400 watt max motor. And the model is T012 pe one Of course, we've got uh, a little swivel caster at the front and two large wheels at the back and there's a Rowenta helpline there I don't suppose there'll be anyone answering the phone if we were to try. I do like this nice bumper, nice soft bumper around the machine adds to the style of the cleaner. It's very manoeuvrable as well very easy. It's a nice lightweight compact cleaner of course, it's got automatic cord rewind. And there is a post motor filter. Well, inside, you can't really have access to, but that's more to do with um, noise reduction and diffusing the exhaust air. So that's fixed inside the cleaner. And then you've got another sort of sponge filter there. So not the best at filtration, I would say, this machine. You've got a bag check indicator, on off switch, the cord rewind button, and you've got a little dial here, just on eco or max. So eco obviously for a lower suction. You could put it midway, I suppose. Most people will use this on max. So that's the cleaner itself. And this is where of course the hose goes in and you've got little rubber entry there to help seal the entrance when you take the hose off. So the hose just plugs in to the front here until it clicks. 
and this is the handle you've got a suction relief valve there and if we remove it from the telescopic tube we can see that it's got a little built-in dusting brush so if you want to use that you just pull that down and it clicks into place and you can use that for your quick dusting jobs it's quite a handy little feature and then of course when you finish with it you push it back and then you can attach the telescopic wand and as you can see we can adjust that and here is the delta head the delta system by Roenta and as you can see underneath I'm not sure how effective this will be at pet hair I don't know how effective this cleaner is picking up anything but we're soon going to find out before the end of the video so instead of any wheels you've got three of these sort of slide pad things so you can maneuver it this is designed for carpets and hard floors you've got your litter pickers there to help pick up pet hair or threads and fibers and the suction inlets well it goes all around actually all around the perimeter of this triangular shaped head but you've got holes here, here, and also there's two holes at the bottom. And side suction channels, either side there. And of course you've got the flexible neck, and this is where you'd park it on the back of the machine. If you want to pause your cleaning, of course, you can also put it, I think it goes, that's it, that goes like that, with the tube attached, obviously. And when you want to put it away or if you're carrying the machine you can actually slide it into the space at the back of the machine like that and that will hold that in place securely so it makes it easier to store away or you can carry that up the stairs single-handed with that attached okay well we've seen the cleaner it's time to put some dirt down and see how effective this Delta head is now because this cleaner has a single walled paper bag I think the suction is going to drop off quite dramatically when I attempt to pick up a large amount of dirt in one go. So before I do a big-ish mess test I'm going to see how well this delta head cleans up to the edges and into the corners because that's what it's designed for that's why it's this triangular shape it's designed to get into the corners of the room. So I've put down some loose leaf tea so we can see it quite clearly on this pale carpet and it is right up to the edge of the carpet. So <laughs> I don't think it's gonna do very well, but you never know. So let's have a go. We'll see how well the Delta system works at cleaning edges and into corners. <laughs> Well, that surprised me. It's done very, very well, especially up to the edge here. It has left some of the loose leaf tea, but the carpet, when it's fitted, it actually goes down a bit. So it's not sort of level when carpets fitted and sort of um, ta attached to the gripper rods. They sort of use a tool and tuck it in. So there's a bit of a, a crevice here but it's managed to pick up most of them. It hasn't managed so well at the end here, cleaning front ways on. You can see that it's left quite a bit of the tea, but if I was to come from it from the other direction, which I will do before tackling some more mess, if I come from it this way, we might see that it picks up more of this tea. So all in all, that's done far better than I expected it to. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Rather a lot of mess. We must clean this up or Santa Claus will never come down my chimney. So we're going to, of course, use the Delta head supplied with this Roenta Tonixo. And um, 
I'm predicting that the suction will start to drop off, maybe not after the first couple of passes, but certainly by the time I've picked all this up, I think I'll notice a considerable drop in suction, but I'm hoping eventually it will clean everything up. But we'll do the old forward and back through the middle first, just so we, we've got a comparison between a cleaned path and a non-clean path. Let's sort of center it there, okay. See if it snow plows. So as you can see it's made rather a mess of the nozzle, a lot of the mainly rolled oats seem to have stuck to the top of it. Now I'm going to do another shot of this, more of a, a carpet level shot, but it reminded me of a snow plough on an old steam train because it's that sort of shape, the delta shape at the front, and I'm not sure how well it picked up from the angle I first showed you, but I could see everything was being snow ploughed. But when I pulled the Delta system head back, it managed to remove everything. So there is a little bit of snow ploughing just off camera. I'll show you that. But all in all, it's not done bad, apart from the fact that it's not cleaned deeply. Mainly what's been left here that I can see quite clearly is the loose leaf tea, which does show up very well. This dark brown loose leaf tea on this pale carpet. But a few more passes, it might get more of it out, but I think this might need a little bit of agitation to really clean it effectively. Okay, I'm going to try and pick up the rest of this dirt and uh, we'll just see how well this snow plows from, the, as I said, from carpet level, because it really looked like it was pl snow plowing everything, literally snow plowing, although this isn't snow, of course. So there you go, that's the last you'll see of the Roenta Tenixo, at least on my channel. It might pop up on somebody else's, but uh, it hasn't done that bad. Now it's left some pet hair, but there's no brush underneath this, there's not even a fixed brush. So any of that pet hair has been left. It might eventually pick it up, but it'd have to scrub for quite some time. And it's pretty heavy going, it's quite hard to push and um, rather warm, especially wearing this Christmas jumper. But uh, it's okay for its time. Um, it's quite a nice little cleaner, ideal for the car. If you want to see the other tools that came with this one, you'll, you can um, check the unboxing. I'll put a link below the video and uh, a link in the video if you want to see when I first unboxed this. But this was one of three, I think. I gave one to a friend so she could clean her car and um, this one's been sold. And the third one, I'm afraid I had to uh, get rid of it. 
it was no use it uh, was all discolored and there was, there was other things wrong with it so this out of the uh, three I had was the best one so as I said this is going to somebody else tomorrow in fact I'm going to clean it up and uh, put a new bag in obviously I've got some spare bags for it too but that's pretty full in fact I didn't really notice a, a you know dramatic drop in suction but that's certainly pretty full I mean I could could use it for a little bit longer I suppose but that's quite a heavy bag now and it has managed oh there's a little bit of dirt inside here some of the finer dust has got through but not a dramatic amount so it's not going to take me too long to give this a bit of a clean and a polish pack it up in its box and send it off to its new owner let's just pop that back in so don't forget tune in tomorrow same time for another advent video who knows what i'll be doing i might be unboxing a vacuum i might be demonstrating another vacuum i might be showing you some leaflets regarding vacuum cleaners or i might be showing you some little knickknacks all vacuum cleaner related to take us up to the big day which is of course christmas day where you will see my christmas day unboxing spectacular providing some people have been kind enough to buy me something for my amazon wish list thanks for watching if you have any questions about this roenta to nixo please ask them below and i'll see you all tomorrow same time for another video in my advent series bye for now